So, in the previous video of this playlist, I've shown you how to make the simplest boost converter and also showed you the working, right? But even though the PWM signal I was achieved was around 980 hertz, it's still quite weak because see, when it's idle, it's pumping up to around 20, around 24 volts, it is going up still. But as soon as I connect this load, the voltage drops. See? So I'm connecting. 3, 2, 1. There we go. It's 10 volts. And that's what I have to figure out. As soon as I connect this small load, then and there the voltage is dropping to 10 volts, which is my input. So there is no boosting anymore. Today we are gonna beef it up. And let's see whether we can reach 100 volts mark with it or not. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to increase the PWM frequency. At the first I thought I cannot do it because in my previous video I've shown you that the... What the f It's burning. Fucking piece of shit. Forgot to turn it off. Okay, so I've not put a pan in there as, in, uh, as of my previous video I've shown you. The transistor temperatures actually goes up like crazy, burn my skin. So in my previous video I've shown you that the Arduino's pin 9 has a maximum frequency of 980 hertz, And that's what the frequency is limited to. But after a little bit of research I found one amazing page. Arduino... There we go. It says in pin 9 the frequency can be 31 kilohertz and in pin 6 it can be 62.5 kilohertz that's decent see the site is called arduino playground playground.arduino.cc that is amazing so i will discuss about this timer uh, in my arduino advanced series so i have just copied this line into my setup code so what i did is just change my pin 6 to pin 9 and set the pin 9 PWM frequency to 31.2 kHz. That should be pretty decent and promising. So let's upload the code. Yeah. Hey, sh okay, the compiler seems happy with it. No error. It's uploaded. Now I have to fire this thing up. No, it's still 9 volts. What the? It's not doing anything. Oh, shit. 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 What the f What happened? See what happened. My capacitor popped. Maybe I it is getting more voltage than it was expected. What is what is my plier? Piece of shit. So for just for information, see this is how it exploded. The cap just popped out of it. And see, there is nothing inside. Electric materials and everything just popped. It's bullshit. I didn't have the boost though. I need a bigger capacitor. See, thousand microfarads and 63 volts. Now let's plug this thing in. So there you go guys, you can see I've replaced the capacitor in here and the voltages are, actually it's turned off, it's the store charge in the capacitor which is showing that it's 2.4 volts. So let's fire this thing up. There we go. Oh sh That's working! Just work like a charm and you can see that. Uh, 72 volts up in there but my capacitor is rated 63 volts so if i put more voltage than 63 volts so again it will pop like a popcorn so i'm not gonna do that again well i don't think with the load the voltage is boots that much so let's plug this thing in. 
Wow, can you can see 27 volts? Still going higher, 28. 28.3. Well, this thing is working like a charm. 30 to 1 kilohertz is amazing. It's still increasing 29 volts. Now let's try 62 kilohertz. I'm uploading it. I've set been 6 to 62 kilohertz. Now let's fire this thing. What the? F well, I guess 62 kilohertz is a little bit overkill, so it's not working. I was getting higher voltage using 31 kilohertz, so I'll stick with that. So see, I added a new feature, and now I can adjust the PWM DV cycle using my potentiometer. I'm not showing this in detail in this video because I will make how to read potentiometer potentiometer values using Arduino in my Arduino beginner series. Well, that's running quite fast and also sounds like a jet but the problem is that is not enough for me why you may ask well because i like extreme sh let's kick it up a notch and you know inductor is the main thing which actually increases the voltage so let me measure the inductance for you and if you don't know i do not have any inductance meter that is called the lcr meter i do not have one lcr meter but still i can measure this inductance yeah with my arduino and if you haven't checked the video till now then the link is in the cards above do check that out that was insane this turned around 100 micro henry I found this little inductor which is insane. See what it measures. It's insanely powerful. Let's plug it in. Here we go. Well, why the f this doesn't work? Oh, sh it's heating up quite a bit. So I salvaged the output filter choke from an old damaged PSU. Let's make an inductor now. So if you haven't watched my inductor making video, how to make toroidal inductors, then you should also check my this video up in here. surprise it took me more than 30 minutes to wind this I still have a little bit extra but let me measure the inductance first and it turned out to be around 200 micro -henries. I'm done with it see I this portion I just overlapped and you can see the clear difference it's more thicker and Previously, I showed you it was around 200 milli micro henries, and let's measure it now. Wow! See, 436 micro henries. It's around 440 micro henries that's pretty pretty decent i made an amazingly powerful inductor previously i showed you my 100 micro henry inductor 
is just performing so so well now let's imagine how well this will perform well you don't have to imagine I will show you let's test it I'm very very excited now what will happen with four times more even 4.4 times more than what I'm using before but for my own disappointment that also didn't work at all this is bullshit why doesn't it work it does the job quite a bit but a little bit weaker than the previous one that is my this inductor here which I've measured 100 micro -Henrys. but this is 440 micro -Henrys, four times larger but still it doesn't work that still it doesn't work I've also tried using my monster transformer which I salvaged from an old UPS but nothing worked like that 100 micro henry was but why the f is that so is 400 micro henry weaker than f 100 micro henry why well a quick research doesn't harm it shows it is not only the, about the inductance it also depends on the dimension of the core the wear the materials etc i should be happy by getting it this perfect inductor which just works fine from my this project so i should be happy not complain okay well let's put this old inductor back and let's fire this thing in <coughs> there we go oh sh again i put a around 70 volts across this capacitor why the f my motor is not running Oh sh why not to discharge this capacitor so that's okay quite a bit but I again overcharge this capacitor and now I have to discharge this is boost well let's discharge it oh sh well it's not discharging At last I did it. Oh. Well, that was insanely powerful, and you can see the cap terminals just welded down into my screwdriver. That's insane. So maybe I can make a spot welder with this. We'll also give it a shot. So, see what I've got. I've not recorded the steps, but I got 100 volts from 10 volts by using this. <laughs> so, before you crush me, I'm coming from future and here you can see this is the initial version of, of the boost converter. I want to show you how much voltage I can reach with this boost converter. Well, you need proof, right? 100 volts proof, right? Okay, I'm gonna show that. So, as you can see the voltages are actually right now 1.2 volts. Now, let's turn on the boost converter. There you go. Well, actually, I beefed it up such that you can see NF right there. That means no feedback. And it will pump the voltage as much as it can. And here's my capacitor bank, which is actually rated. Not rated. I put 3 in series, 50 volts. So, total I have 150 volts rating. And as you can see right there, 100. 15 volts so you got your proof right see it's still increasing oh, 142 sh holy sh I messed up with my setup so you got your proof right this number can reach more than 150 volts that's not a joke that's true if I apply more than 150 volts then my whole bank will pop and the primary reason for which I am doing this using those larger capacitor bank is because the that spot welder I 
and if you want to see this then don't miss the next video okay in my next video I'll show you how to add a feedback to this circuit and what is the feedback so this video is already a little bit longer so I'm gonna discuss about it in my next video and feedback is necessary to use this as a general purpose booster till then keep watching our syllabus if you like this video give it a thumbs up do not spoil the fun by sharing this with your friends so it would be awesome if you follow us on Facebook page and also consider support supporting me on patreon to keep the show going so that's all for today guys hope you have enjoyed my name is Malhar this is our syllabus and today I am signing off